I've just finished my first prototype robot. If he works, Dr. Wiley, this will just be the first of many. Tja, the world of robots. Together, we can create hundreds of industrial and domestic robots. Construction robots, mining robots, marine robots, and all to help mankind. Now for the big moment. It's working, Dr. Light. Something must be wrong. Stop! I command you to stop! He doesn't obey! There must be a problem with his computer guidance system. We'll have to rebuild this prototype. But I programmed the system, Dr. Light. It must be something else. No, I'm sure it's the guidance system. We must destroy the plans and start over. Yes, of course, Dr. Light. You're right, as always. I'll destroy the plans. Just what I'm looking for. Destroy my work, will he? Not if I can help it. What are you doing with those plans, Dr. Wiley? You were supposed to destroy them. Never! You're just jealous of my genius! You probably sabotaged the guidance system, so you could take all the credit! But now, it's my turn to be in the spotlight! Dr. Wiley, come back! You can't use those plans! They are dangerous! Let them make fun of me! Let them laugh! Nobody knows the genius I am! Even when I was a little boy, the other children never understood me. I never even had toys like the other kids. And now I'll build all the toys I want. Robot toys. And I'll control them. <laughs> Humans are imperfect. Robots are so much superior. My robots will be made to supervise mankind. Under my command. I think I've finally worked out all the bugs. I'll call him Rock. My new robot prototype. Now, let's see if he works. Hi, my name's Rock. Who are you? I'm Dr. Light. I built you. Are you my father? In a sense, I am. <laughs> I look human. Yes. And I programmed you to feel like a human. I like that. Come, Rock. Look, I built this robot to handle household chores. Her name is Rome. She's pretty. Yes. And you can think of her as your sister. Hi, I'm Rock, your brother. I'm Raw. We're one big family. And the two of you are going to help me as I create a whole new world. This is Cutman, a logging robot. And this is Gutsman, a construction robot. He has enormous strength. And this one can freeze anything with his ice slasher beam. Just think of all the great things they can do to help mankind. Yes, but it's late. And time for young robots to get to bed. The three robots are in the next room. Magnificent. Oh, they will do nicely as the first in my army. Dr. Wiley. What are you doing back here? Just settling an old score. They're going to take our robots, Dr. Light! Not if I can help it! Stop them, my robots! No, Dr. Light! Save me! We obey you, Dr. Wiley! He's reprogrammed them! Uh, I'll stop you myself! Ah! Oh. Take them back to my lab! You let rock and roll go! Oh, I think 
not. They will make a perfect addition to my collection of robots. And I wouldn't try anything, Dr. Light. If you do, Iceman will freeze you. Show the doctor, Iceman. If you try and follow, then let Cartman show you what he'll do to you. No! Not rock and roll! Yes, I know. But why would Dr. Wily want rock and roll? And what are they going to do with them? Well, how do you like my new focus, Rock? Now, I will be able to take all the good robots that Dr. Light builds and reprogram them to turn against mankind. <laughs> But that's not right. Oh, my. He's right, Proto-Man. I'm a bad scientist. <laughs> hey, you should be happy, Rock. You and I are brothers. We were built from the same plans. Let Dr. Wily reprogram you and join us in our quest to control mankind. No way. You can count me out. Me little dog here. A little slice there, won't you feel differently about this? Oh, Dr. Dentehead! It's Dr. Wiley! Not in my universe, Buster! You'll be a pleasure to revile. Wait! Stop! And why should I stop? Only if you want to live. My dad also built Super Warrior Robots. And they're on their way here to rearrange your ugly anatomy. They're mean machines. Robots can't lie. He must be telling the truth. But why didn't I know about these other robots? Is there a way to stop them? Let us go and I'll show you. Unstrap him. Thanks, Doc. Now, tell me how to stop those robots. Simple. First, you grab hold of one of these, like this, and then you shove it at them, like this! See? Works every time. You tricked us! But... but robots can't lie! I think we overstayed our welcome. Let's get out of here! Get us out of this! That blue bucket of bolts yet, and then he'll be on our side. Are you mad at me? I had to tell a fib to get away. Well, not this time, Rock. You saved you and your sister's life. It was your human emotions that enabled you to make that escape. But there's still a grave problem. Dr. Wily and Proto-Man will be back, and there's only one way to stop them. What is it, Father? I'm going to have to rebuild you into a great robot warrior. And with your mixture of conscience, compassion, and self-determination, you'll always have an edge over other robots. Imagine, my brother a super warrior. creation of my career, and I will call him Mega Man! Mega Man! I like it! But you're also my son, Rock. And I've got an added surprise for you. This is Rush, 
He's going to be your canine companion and transportation. Mega, mega. Hey, hey, come on. Stop with the licking. Let's see what you can do. As you can see, he's got an unlimited amount of vehicles he can transform into. <laughs> yeah, he's one hunk of hardware. Hey, good boy. I just feed him these battery biscuits for energy. <laughs> hey, the two of us are gonna make a great team. Uh-uh. The three of us. Hang on. My robot transistor sensed something coming. While Dr. Light was rebuilding you, Mega Man, I did some work on myself. Oops. I guess I still need a few adjustments. But now I can help you when you go into battle, Mega Man. Hey, no way. Forget it. You're out of your gourd, sis. We'll make a great team. Just me, Rush, and Mega Man.